Joe Biden isn't even halfway through his presidential term yet, but a new poll reveals many Americans aren't riding with Biden. Breastmaster reports polled 1,000 adults and asked, quote, generally speaking, has President Joe Biden made America better or worse as a nation? Or has Biden's presidency not made much difference? The results are in and 34% said better. 47% said worse, 17% said not much difference, and then 2% said mm, they're not sure. So Biden's approval rating could use some work, but is Congress <laughs> doing any better? Well, Rasmussen Reports conducted a poll to find out. The question was simple, quote, how do you rate the way that Congress is doing its job? 9% said excellent, 16% said good, 26% said fair, 45% said poor, and 4% said they weren't sure. So let's bring in Rasmussen Reports head pollster Mark Mitchell to break all of this down for us. Uh, Mark, I have to kind of chuckle a little because, I mean, Congress has made so many missteps recently. And then you hear, you hear uh, Mitch McConnell out there yesterday saying that Ukraine, sending more aid to Ukraine, is what Republicans want to see. That's the biggest priority for the United States right now at a time when some people can't pay their grocery bills. Congress is pretty unpopular, huh? They are. But what's it? talking to me a lot as a pollster, you know that I'll go right into the Eternals. And I'll also look at trends of how things yeah. change over time. And believe it or not, these Congress numbers are actually up a little bit from where they were uh, the last two years. And part of that could be we're asking during mm. the Christmas season. And part of that could be we're asking during what's essentially a lame duck Congress. But there are some interesting things to pick out about voter psyche in here, specifically Democrats or at least Biden supporters. So the first question, if you take a look, uh, you know, Biden theoretically won 2020 with 51 percent of the popular vote. But now only 30 percent, 34 percent, sorry, of the electorate says that he's made the country a better place in the last two years. So he's lost all of these people that were potentially supporters and turned them into essentially the not much difference response. So the 47% that say he's made it worse match up with essentially the 47% who voted with Trump. But then it's interesting to look into all the demographics and see, well, who, who says he's making the place better? Uh, and it's, it's Democrats, but only 57% of them, which is really weird. Only 18% of Democrats say he's made the country worse, which is a solid chunk, but only 57% say he's made it better. So what the Democrats are doing in that particular case, well, oh, well, 22 percent, he's not in control. He's not having a difference. It's somebody else calling the shots, or I just don't want to think about this particular question. Republicans, there's actually 23 percent of Republicans who think Biden made America better. Uh, I think there's a little bit of, of a growing never Trump contingency showing up in our polls. Um, but I think also we've talked about this before. The party lines are sort of blurring a little bit and people are becoming more confused. But 70 percent of Republicans say that Biden made uh, America worse. And independents are actually least likely to say Biden has made America better. But independents, especially in this poll, are really showing a lot of anti-party sentiment. Um, here's what I thought was fascinating, though. The people who are somewhat approve or somewhat disapprove of Biden have absolutely no idea what Biden's impact on America was. 44% of them say he hasn't made much difference. So Biden gets all of this sort of mediocre support that comes from people who think that he doesn't really, he isn't calling the shots potentially, or he might be incompetent. So, so th there's this aspect of potentially his age or other things lending to, to that trend. Um, now for the Congress rating, like I said, this is actually up a little bit. Um, the excellent plus good combined rating is 17%. That's a few points higher than it was earlier in the year. Um, to put it in perspective, the combined excellent good of Biden of Congress is lower than Biden. But if you add in the fair ratings, then Congress shoots above Biden quite a bit. They have a 55% combined. Uh, and only 45% of voters say Congress is doing a poor job. Uh, which is a lot, but less than it's been. It's been as high as 52 in the last two years. Uh, the people who think that Congress is doing best are Democrats. 15% give them an excellent, 24% give them a good for a combined 39% uh, good and excellent. And for Republicans and independents, it's the high teens. Uh, and once again, going into the Biden approval numbers is where I find more fascinating trends because there really are breaking off. Black voters and Democrats used to be lockstep 
Uh, Democrats and Biden supporters used to be lockstep. And, and the, those types of demographic groups are sort of splitting apart. The people that strongly approve of Biden, 54% uh, of them give, give Congress a combined excellent and good. And that's just astronomically high. So what really digging into what I think is going on there, and I, you know, I don't like to get into analysis too much, I think it's the aspect of Biden's strong supporters of people that really do more than everybody else believe what's going on in D.C. Uh, we asked another question that I'll probably get into uh, later in a video on our YouTube channel, uh, but we asked, are most uh, members of Congress corrupt? And 42% of voters say yes, 33% of voters say no. But only 22% of people that strongly approve of Biden say most members of Congress are corrupt. And across all demographics, that's by far the absolute lowest by at least 10 points. Uh, so I thought you'd like that trend. It's something that's been developing over the last couple of months. That's interesting. You know what? I, I feel like if people understood or it was more widely reported, what is going to be in this massive omnibus bill and where the money is going, I think uh, I think Congress would get even lower marks from people on both sides of the aisle. That is a little bit higher yeah. than I expected to, Mark Mitchell. Maybe people are yeah. feeling the Christmas spirit. Speaking of we'll winter, we'll test Christmas. it again in the spring when everybody's grumpier, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, we'll see after the new year, right? When when yeah. the, when the spirit is worn off. Thanks, Mark.